I was horrified. I was completely like, how is this happening to us? At this point, being only 25 weeks old, they're too little to deliver. So they had to figure out what to do. So we were sent up to St. George's. We were actually sent the next day. We saw asthma straight away. And she explained that again, that TAPS is very, very rare and that there's actually no cure for it. We, we talked with asthma, we decided we would go for the fetal laser surgery and that we will either have to go up the same day or the day after to try and save the babies. Twins, it's just another thing, isn't it, to try and get your head around. It's really scary on one respect because, you know, major surgery for the, the woman that you love uh, and the, these twins that you care deeply about already. But then at the same point, St George is so professional that they're, they're very good at making you feel really confident in their abilities. It's one of those ones that you're told will never happen. The miracle that happened was straight after the surgery, both their vitals stabilised. I remember coming out of the surgery and speaking to surgeons and they were all so happy. And later on, I heard that they all felt it had gone a hundred times better than they even hoped it was gonna go. So my water's broke at 28 plus three. You know, at that point, 28 week old twins. I mean, they got everything ready, but we were very, very small. So they needed to get us off the island as quickly as possible. The day my water's broke was the day that went into national lockdown. Unfortunately, Leo wasn't alive when he was born, so it was all very quick. And um, the screen was up and I was very unwell. And then they were just taken. They were 10 and a half weeks early. We expect them to be in there for 10 and a half weeks. And so you're not going to better see them for, for, for 10 and a half weeks. I was just sat at home and Nikki phoned me up saying, you can come in. Like within 20 minutes, I was suddenly going in, <laughs> meeting them for the first time and trying to kind of get to put your, their hand on, on their head and their tummy so you have some kind of little connection and promised that I was going to make it up to them, you know, after that, so. The Twins Trust provide amazing support to women and families with twin and multiple births. And here at St. George's, it's wonderful that we work closely with the Twins Trust so that we are able to provide the holistic care that these families need and deserve. I really encourage people to donate to Twins Trust because without their work and their partnership with, with hospitals, then first of all, babies are gonna, gonna be dying and then their support of people that have twins in their families I think is is brilliant. So if it wasn't for, for Twins Trust and asthma and St George's then we wouldn't have been able to have the, the, the laser surgery and we would have lost at least one if not both babies. My boys would have died. They saved their lives, they gave me my children. I can, I can never be more grateful. <laughs>